Thank you for joining us. Please enjoy this video from Monsignor Bill. Good day. Good to be back with you. One of the questions that came to me, uh, and I'm going to give you a general answer here, about how did the Bible and the books of the Bible get to be in the Bible? Uh, we don't have any particular revelation from God or tablets that said, well, this book comes in and this book doesn't. God inspired writers of the, of, of the books of the Bible. And it's really more like a bibliotheque. It's, it's just more like a whole library of books. Did you know there's, there's even a book in the Bible that never mentions God? Song of Songs never mentions God, but it's in the Bible. And we understand that to be a revelation of God. He also would uh, inspire people to write at the time that they lived. So when I, we talk about, for example, the book of Genesis, and, you know, the, the, there's a, the fire and the water and all these different things, and God did all this work in, in six days. There's a certain truth to that, a religious truth, but it took a lot more than just six days. It took billions of years. So we have, we have to understand the, the, the writing at the time it was written. We can't look back in the 21st century and say, hey, it should have said this. That's not the way they thought. And there were lots of writings around. And, and after the New Testament was being written, lots of, lots of writings around, lock, lots of books were around. And people would dispute which of these writings, these letters, these books should go into the Bible. One of the ones I'm surprised that did not make it into the Bible was the Didache, the teaching of the apostles. Uh, that was, I think it's a, it's a great writing, but the church, led by the Holy Spirit, said, well, this book does not belong in the Bible. Then we had some people wanting to take things out of the Bible. Uh, but around the, the 16th century, some people, they just wanted to, they took seven books out of, out of, the, out of the Old Testament. Some of them wanted to take out uh, the letter to James because it said, be anointed with oil. So there's a lot of conflict that went on there. But the canon of the Bible that we know was formed in about the third century. A couple hundred, 150, 250, about 300 years after Christ. And that's the book that we use now. It was the Hebrew scriptures, and then, of course, the new scriptures were set. So it, it's a little complicated, and there's a lot of details, so I can't really get into them right now, uh, because I don't know them all. But to, little by little, we have to say, okay, God inspired, the church is given the Holy Spirit, and the Holy Spirit leads. Well, why wasn't the, the Gospel of Thomas put in here? Well, one of the things in there is that... Uh, he wrote that as they were going down to Egypt, the palm trees would bow over in reverence as the Holy Family was walking by. And the church said, you know, we, we, don't, we don't think that's the way it really happened. The Holy Spirit, so we didn't put that in the Bible. And then and he also said, uh, everybody's gonna, all, even all the females are gonna be changed into men in heaven. I said, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Try to say that today. So there are things in there that were pious writings, um, and they weren't trying to be bad or anything like that. They just kind of got off the track a little bit. So the church, led by the Holy Spirit, and under the, uh, the, the governance of, of, of the popes, said, okay, finally, these are the books. These are the ones we recognize as inspired scriptures. Now, could they have skipped over a book here that should have been in there? Sure. But we'll never know that because it's not in the Bible. But these are the books we trust. These are letters from, from Paul and James and, and Peter. Uh, and from the very beginning to the end, that's what that is. So it is a little complicated, but we can trust 
in the Spirit. We can trust in what Jesus promised for us, that he would lead us in his church to know the truth. And this book, this book will help us do that. So get very familiar with it. There's lots of uh, good Bible studies on, on, on YouTube and uh, different, different channels like that, so you can learn more and more. But that's kind of the, the canon or the list of the books in the Bible. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit.